See this, folks? I'm only going to do this one time. That is a Daiwa Ryoga Bay Jigging 2025. coast and you fish salt water I'm showing you right here what I truly believe is the best reel that you can get for the money this right here is a Daiwa Ryoga these Daiwa Ryogas come in all kinds of flavors these days you can get them with mag sealed bearings. You can get ones that aren't 7.4 to 1 gear ratio. You can get ones that have a double paddle handle versus the jigging. You can get one that is basically not even called a Ryoga. It's a Saltist. They'll call it a Saltist. They call it a Basara. Uh... There's all different kinds. This, 12 ball bearings, ball bearings in the handle, probably counted, okay, overall bearings. I don't know where every single bearing is located in this. I don't really care. I have gone over these reels before, and I'm going to say it again. For the money, this is the best reels I've ever owned in my entire life. And I own a lot of reels and have owned a lot of reels, used reels, and then sold reels. Overall, this reel right here is so unbelievable for the sheer fact when you turn this handle you almost feel like you're disconnected from the reel. It is so buttery smooth. I bought all of my like dozen Ryoga style reels used off eBay. Not a single one has ever ever given me a problem I have never had to take these apart which these all have hex or allen key type screws in them the tolerances of these reels is unbelievable I had one that I one reel I took this side plate off there is not a, was or was not, a drop of salt inside these reels. Many have the Z-Mag system over here, which I'm not even going to show you because this one right here is my favorite. These reels, brand new, can be as much is $500. You get what you pay for. Another reel that's similar to this, but in a total different genre, I guess you would call, is something like an accurate twin drag. Accurates are copied. They're lever drag, big game reels in a tiny package that deliver such unbelievable amounts of drag pressure. Accurates and this Daiwa, they're the two reels in my book that are heirlooms. You will be able to pass them on to your children and your children's children to use to fish with. I've had these for years 
and I've never, ever had a problem. You know, so ticks. When you turn that, I'm not going to go over all the things that I've gone over in multiple videos before. That baby snaps like a damn mouse trap. That reel is truly unbelievable. Unbelievable. I keep them clean. I don't abuse them. I don't lay them down on any skid deck or anything like that and scuff them up. They stay under a real cover. No one on my boat, and I take thousands of people a year or a couple thousand every couple of years. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't count how many people that I take fishing. Numbers of bodies. But no one that I've ever taken, either they know about fishing tackle or they don't know about fishing tackle. They cannot believe how wonderful of a reel and how feel what how feeling this is. What a feeling this is in your hand. So to all these multiple websites out there that are <clears throat> taking reels apart, putting reels back together, comparing reels, um, websites where they're talking about using other reels for types of fishing. There is no reel just for catfish. There is no reel just for this. That doesn't exist. This can be used for bass. This can be used for sturgeon. This can be used for stripers. This can be used for catfish. This can be used for walleye. This can be used for redfish. This can be used for lake trout. This can be used for sailfish. This can be used for king, ma uh, king mackerel. This can be used for flounder. This can be used for sheep's head. It's that simple. There is no special reel for special fish. Catfish reels. I mean, that's what's cracking me up. Cracking me up. There is none. You get a reel. And if you want, absolutely one of the best. This is it. And until further notice, when I find one better, I'll let you know. Daiwa Ryoga. That's it. Top of the line. If you don't agree, put a comment below. We'll argue about it. But if you do agree, put a comment if you've got the balls to get one.